Aloha class! Welcome to Animal Physiology. My name is Marguerite Butler and I'm going to be your professor for Animal Physiology this semester. Uh, we just wanted to make this little introductory video to get you acquainted to how the class is going to be run. So I'm going to pass you on to Mary. Hi, aloha! Um, I'm Mary. I will be your Wednesday Lab TA and do research here with Dr. Butler and Ethan here at the University. There's Ethan. Um, I'll see you guys on Monday and Wednesday. Um, hi, I'm Ethan. I will be your lecture TA this semester. Um, I am currently a first year uh, graduate student in the microbiome department, and I can't wait to work with all of you. Have <laughs> Hi, my name is Claire. I will be taking care of the Tuesday lab, and I am currently a first year grad student working with Dr. Butler, and I'm looking forward to working with you all this year. So in our class, we're going to be studying animal physiology, which is the science of how animal life works. So we're going to take both mechanistic and ex evolutionary approaches. So as you recall from introductory biology, inside every single animal cell is a mitochondria. And aerobic respiration is really critical for all of animal life because it's the way that we convert macromolecules into energy. So we, using glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, which is inside the mitochondria, we're going to convert a sugar molecule into 38 ATPs. So the glycolysis part is really involved in um, anaerobic respiration. But once we have oxygen, we need the mitochondria and the Krebs cycle to really crank out the output. OK, so we know this. And then we come to some huge macroevolutionary pattern, which such as the famous mouse to elephant curve. Um, this is kind of an old physiological finding, but if you basically take the basal metabolic rate of mammalian species spanning even five orders of magnitude from mice to elephants and fit a curve, you get this incredibly tightly fitting regression line. There's like a 98% fit to this line, which is basically unheard of in any aspect of biology. Um, so clearly this deserves an explanation. Why is it that, that this seems to be a law that animal bodies obey? Well, so we can come up with all kinds of hypotheses about this. But, um, you know, perhaps it has to do with the fact that the thing these things all share are the cells of animals. And perhaps if the way that we get larger animals is by getting more cells with more mitochondria, we can sort of start to make a predictive model that would explain this really crazy pattern. So um, this class is going to be really, really challenging. And it's going to be quite different from every other class that you've had at UH because, as far as I know, it's the most project-based course in our curriculum. So first of all, there's no exams, none at all. Instead, we're going to be basically learning physiology by basically being practicing physiologists. So that means the responsibility is going to be largely on you. Well, I mean, all learning's responsibility is on you anyway, <laughs> okay? But this just makes it really obvious. So you're going to do your readings at home, okay, every class period. And then you're going to come to class prepared to participate in a discussion. Um, and the discussions are there to really flesh out our understanding of the concepts what are the ideas, like what, how can we use information and put it together to explain things and really push ourselves. It's not just sort of like this like time when you can check your phone. No, it's like time to really push. Then you're gonna get every week, you're gonna get homework. And the homework is there to challenge us to actually apply the information and the ideas that we're learning in class to try to solve real problems. They're going to be quantitative. The purpose of it is not to torture you, but to actually prepare you to do the design projects. So I said that there's no exams in the class. What you're going to do is work on what we call design projects. 
So with a partner, you're going to pick a fossil, an extinct vertebrate, that you're going to work on all semester. And what you're going to do is you're going to design four physiological systems of this animal, starting from its metabolic rate. And then, you know, you're going to look at heat balance. Then you're going to look at um, feeding and digestion. Then you're going to look at respiration. And then after that, uh, either osmoregulation and excretion, or you can design your own. So what you're going to do is by applying what you know about biology and what you learn f about physiology, you're going to try to model what this animal's physiology was like. So in order to demonstrate your knowledge, instead of an exam, what you're going to do is write an original research paper. You're going to start off with a draft, a rough draft, um, and that's where you get to really state all your ideas and your lines of evidence to support your arguments. Okay, the better you do on the draft, the better you're gonna get feedback. Okay, oh, first of all, you're gonna do oral presentations. Um, and that allows you to sort of explain your thoughts and sell it to the class to see if people buy it. <laughs> okay, and that's where you get to showcase your work in progress. Then uh, we're going to give you feedback, both your peers as well as the instructional staff, to give you reviews on what you've written, which gives you a chance to revise and perfect your work as much as you would like. And then finally, you're gonna take it all in and really make a kick-ass final draft to turn in for your grade, okay? So it's a lot of work, but you'll be producing amazing work. And it's not busy work. You have to actually do all of these components. If you skip any of them, you will not produce a very good final draft. Okay, so just want to be straight up front. This is what you're signing up for, okay? But if you really want to get better and learn how to do amazing work, um, it, it, it's, it's really, cool to see how much people improve over the semester. I previously took the course a couple years ago and I've, I was recommended to the course by my friend. She had informed me that it was going to be a lot of work but it was definitely going to be worth my time and I'm really glad that I stuck through it with that mentality because the outcome was great and I learned a lot from this class. Thanks, Claire. We have um, the benefit this semester of having both Claire and Ethan who've taken the class before. So they will um, be able to commiserate with feeling your pain, but also be able to testify to, you know, the, the, that it's worth it to stick it out. <laughs> okay. Um, so now we wanna go over some of the useful um, mindsets that will help you succeed in class. And so uh, we do definitely demand excellence. And um, the reason for that is <laughs> that I, I strongly believe in telling you exactly what's wrong so that you can fix it. And only by expecting the best will you be able to perform at your best. So, you know, it's attitude is super important not to be hurt by it because we do this from a place of caring because we want you to really um, be the best version of yourself that you can be so with that being said it is very important that you're okay with criticism um, it's a part of everything you do in your life anyways but this class is really going to help you improve and you need that being criticized so you're gonna have to have a thick skin to make this class and life in general because you're going to get criticized every aspect of your life, not just this class, jobs, anything you do, but you really need to be okay with it. It's not a personal thing. It's, it's just to help you improve throughout the whole semester. Um, so learning is a de developmental process. This course is not meant to be easy. You're going to need to put in a lot of time and effort in order to succeed. However, if you do, you will learn a lot and potentially become a better writer. Therefore, it's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's part of the learning process. Also, understanding that science is a collaborative effort. You will need to evaluate one another throughout this course. 
This is both to help you and to become better, to help you become better editors, as well as have to have the opportunity to receive feedback from your peers. The feedback is meant to help. The editor may spot something that you miss, so don't be offended by everything. Have respect for one another. We're all here to help each other succeed. <clears throat> writing is learned also through a process of revision. Improvements on your lab reports will help you with the writing of your design projects. Take these opportunities to complete the first drafts of peer, for peer revision prior to the due date of your final draft. You can also bring your papers into Dr. Butler or one of your TAs to help you edit and get some further assistance as well. And uh, as a he heads up, effort and attitude count a lot in this class. Um, I actually have a little story about that. So when I took this class, me and Claire, actually a couple years back, um, we worked really hard on our first paper, turned it in, and to be honest, it was kind of hot garbage. Um, and, uh, you know, instead of getting down and kicking ourselves, uh, what we did was actually come into office hours um, and go over what the mistakes were and how we could improve it um, with Dr. Butler. And um, from then on, I mean, um, if you actually take to heart what is being said, your writing will improve so much very, very fast. And um, I mean, another fun part of this class is um, that science is creative. This is actually one of the few classes out there um, that give you a really long leash about what you can investigate, um, what questions you want answered, and you should definitely take this opportunity to think about what questions you want, you want to answer. And yeah. <laughs> and uh, finally, I mean, this course will, um, this will course will test you. Um, it will give you an opportunity to truly know your in animal inside and out like no one else will. And um, this, um, having mastery of a topic is not only important in this class, but it's uh, really important for life in general because if you can thoroughly understand a topic inside and out, um, you will have absolutely no problem helping other people and just even developing your knowledge of a topic. Um, remember that learning is a process and it, although it might be painful, the end result will be definitely very beneficial to you. So uh, to see more details on what the components of the class are, please go to the website and look at the syllabus. It's under the menu bar course docs under syllabus. Okay, so there it's gonna, so go do go to the biology office and pick up a textbook we have already uh, acquired a copy for each of you, and you can rent it from the biology department for $20 for the semester. Go and get yourself a book. It's required, <laughs> okay? You will not pass the class if you don't have the book. Um, but if you wanna look at a further breakdown of what uh, the class is about, um, the, com the grading components are towards the end of the syllabus. Uh, so take note, um, you're going to be doing lab reports for the lab. There's uh, 11 of them, 11 or 12, I don't know. But uh, you're going to be doing three individual lab reports and nine group reports. So that's quite a few. It gives you the opportunity to attain mastery in writing a scientific paper that goes along with the lecture portion of the class. Uh, there's going to be four design projects. You're going to be primary author on two and secondary author on two. It's really important that you work well with your partner. So uh, don't choose your partner just yet. First, what we're gonna have to do is the pre-design project, uh, which is assigned, gonna be assigned during the first class. And that's so that you can find a good partner um, but after that, then you can choose your partner and start working on your design project together. So it's a combination of papers, uh, homework to prepare you, peer reviews, oral presentations, and this is what will really help you to raise your own bar to become as excellent as you want to be. So. Um, Please read the section on plagiarism in the syllabus. We take it very, 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 very dead serious. Um, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> um, but it's going to be an amazing semester. Uh, and also, oh, sorry, also discussions are really, really important. And it'll probably take a little bit of time to figure out how to do it. But 
once you, you you have to be able to talk the talk in order to walk the walk. So uh, that's what we're also going to be working on. So with that, uh, really looking forward to getting to know you all better. So hope to see you in class. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>